Okay, well, I have another light show for you tonight. Uh, several things. This is Dr. Stifler's SEC Exciter. Um, I went back to it because he's developed it more, and some of the things he's uh, um, posting on YouTube videos are just terrific, so I wanted to try them out. But this is a SEC 15. This is the old one, but I did add two transistors to it, like he said, and then uh, I'm using the battery over here as part of the circuit, which he's doing right now, and that aluminum uh, piece of foil is driving that tower over there. And then also, I'm trying out this uh, Lights of America LED bulb, unmodified. It's just how you buy it off the shelf, and it runs in this circuit. But before I show you that, I'll show you this stuff over here. This is my new uh, light multiplier. And you see that little tiny rotor down there? That thing is spinning up very, very, very fast and making Maggie's eyes go. That's a very small mass going at very, very high RPM to make Maggie's eyes come on that bright. There's the original one right over there that I showed in several videos and the circuits are posted and all the information is posted. And I used a microwave oven fan coil which was a little hard to uh, find evidently and replicate exactly so I just built one here. And that's just uh, 600 wines on the primary and then another 700 wines on top of that for the secondary uh, pickup coil for the trigger for the transistor. It's 30 gauge wrapped on a piece of corrugated cardboard. There's nothing fancy to that. And I just mounted the electronics on the back of it. And there you are folks. There's a light multiplier. Very simple to make. You don't have to buy a motor. Just build the coil. And that's that. And uh, let me turn this on. I'll show you how this works. This was quite amazing. I worked on this today. And uh, you have to tune this with a little tunable inductor. There it goes. Now this is the Lights of America bulb right here. It's a bunch of LEDs. Uh, there's a circuit in there that you can remove, but it seems to work without removing it. And there's my um, neon that's a 110 volt neon lit up and there's 27 more LEDs that are lit up off the battery this is just coming right off the battery here going right over to the sec tower and there's no connection beyond that that just ends there it comes off the battery comes over there and ends and in his last video he's showing all different kinds of things that we can do with the energy that's right there at that battery which is something I've known for a long time is and we need to use the battery because it really is part of the circuit. And he's, uh, he's doing that now. And with these two transistors, you'll have to watch this video on how to do that. Uh, you pair them up parallel, but you put a couple of small resistors on the base before it goes into the other base resistor. And uh, that equalizes them out. And you can see this little bulb here. It's barely on. I'm barely drawing uh, probably 30, 40 milliamps maybe to make all that light happen. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty neat. I've got a virtual ground here. Let me see if I touch it. It changes things. I'm touching that. And that's connected to the Lights of America bulb right there. But one other thing that uh, I wanted to show was this is the real deal, folks. This is, this is coherent energy. Um, this is Spatial energy cohesion, cohesion, the SEC is spatial energy cohesion, and this does it. This does the trick. This is what's going on here. The whole environment around this sec is excited, and this does not load that battery anymore when I hold a lot more lights up to it or not. And somebody described this as like a radio. When you turn a radio on, it doesn't make the transmitting station draw more power. It's just there. And this is similar, only this is coherent energy all around this thing. And even over here at Maggie, where Maggie is, I can get these things to light up. In fact, if I take Maggie away and I put Maggie over here, Maggie acts like another pickup antenna. And I can make these lights come on real bright just by using Maggie's induction coil. So Maggie's acting like another receiving antenna and she's taking that energy and basically amplifying it with her little induction coil and bridge rectifier. And that was a neat find today. But Maggie's got a new trick. 
he's he's full of surprises. But uh, yes, he uh, he does her thing wherever there's energy. She shows her eyes. <laughs> so anyway, that's the stuff for today. This was uh, the light show for night tonight. This is Dr. Stifler's SKC Exciter um, Sec 15-3 with some upgrades, and then my new light multipliers. Thanks for watching.